when you pull your new Expedition bow out of the box, uh, one thing that sets Expedition Archery apart from the rest of the bow manufacturers is we're literally a semi-custom bow manufacturer. Um, there's little things that we've engineered into the bow, but the care we take when we assemble the bow first time out uh, sets us apart from virtually every bow manufacturer on the planet. Uh, you, when you order a bow from Expedition and you order it at 29 inches or 28 and a half inches or 28 inches, it's set on a draw board, 80% let off. The cams are custom shimmed and laser aligned so that everything is just set the way that you need it. The only thing your tech needs to do is install your knot point, your arrow rest, and get it shooting. They're, they're you know, optimized for, for knot travel and everything. It's, it literally is a custom tuned bow as it comes. Initially, when, when certain customers buy a new bow, they want custom string colors, or maybe later on down the road, you've shot the bow quite a long time and you just want to replace your string cable set. Clayton builds outstanding strings and cables. Uh, but one of the first questions we always hear about a, 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 cape, a limb stop hybrid is, how do I get set back to zero when I've replaced new strings and cables? There's a couple ways to do that. Um, what I recommend first is when you do get your bow tuned, just take a, and put a machinist rule against the limb and put a, a pencil mark on your cam. That helps you later on because Clayton, you walk in and say, Clayton, my bow is just not shooting right. All strings and cables may have some set and stretch and uh, movement in them. You may have left it in your truck and it was 112 degrees and that will definitely make things stretch. Clayton can walk over, he looks at your timing mark and he says, well, something stretched. We gotta get the marks back on. He can bring those right back in. Um, it's really duplicity for the, the limb stops. That's fine when you have the stock strings or a tuned set of strings and cables on. If Clayton wants to go and put a new set of strings and cables on, he can work off those marks. Um, if you're not as technically savvy as, as Clayton, who works on hundreds of bows a year is, and you want to just know if you're close, every owner's manual has the cam type and a measurement that goes from the respective cable top or bottom to the center of a machine hole. It's indicated, it's very clear in a picture. If you get your bow back to those, and Clayton and I were just going through a couple of them, and he was remarking how close they were, I won't use the term that he did, but um, how close they were when the bows came from the factory to those stock measurements. So if you're at a total loss, you're out on an elk trip and your horse rolls on your bow, you blow it up, you gotta get strings and cables put on it, and they're not perfect, but they'll work. You twist them up. You can go off these measurements. Um, now, if you go off these measurements, you should be able to sink your stops back. If your stop got bent and you had to replace it, so now you have nowhere to go. The owner's manual also has the stock module settings for your draw length, and you can check the draw length and the peak weight and make sure that they're right there and then check that measurement, axle to axle. You can do it all off measurements. 90% of the guys out there are not going to be able to outshoot the bow in a stock setting based on the measurements. You can micro tune from there, but it's going to get you extremely close. One of the beauties of the hybrid system is because the old two cam systems, you had everything perfect to make sure both cams behaved. On a one cam system, you had to make sure that everything was rotated correctly to make sure everything was functioning right. That slaving of the bottom cam to the top cam on all hybrid systems makes them very forgiving in a wide range of shooting um, applications and, and tuning, um, except the perfect tune, which we all kind of strive for if we're bow junkies, is, uh, is easier to attain with a dual limb stop hybrid system, um, but you still have a great deal of forgiveness. They're not finicky, you don't have to have them perfect, and you're not waiting for something to shift. Clayton and I have had a, a chance to talk about the difference is one of the first things that Clayton did when I handed him the bow when I was trying to get him to pick up the line was uh, look at it and he, he has a set of measurements that he goes through. Um, Clayton, can you just go through you know, what you look for in initial assembly and how you can tell that certain bows are crafted versus simply assembled? First of all, Blake, that uh, the bows are phenomenal easy for when we get these out of the box, we sell them, we set them up. Uh, you're bolting the rest on, 90 degrees, you know, everything is set up, the center shot, it just makes it a, a very easy bow. For us here, with all the other bows that we sell, um, if it's a Hoyt, Elite and all that, 
I just don't throw the rest on it. I don't throw a site on it and then and put everything together and knocking point and everything and then hand it to the customer to get the next customer in line to come up. I mean, we, we, I put everything on draw board. Uh, we go through, you know, all the steps from A to Z that we have to do on these bows. But I found that these expeditions straight out of the box are, you know, one of the easiest bows for me to, uh, to set up, period. Um, uh, like Blake said, everything from out of the box is already tuned. So that gives you that, uh, you know, that knowledge that uh, everything is already there for you when you get ready to uh, pop the box open, explain everything to the customer, what they want to hear, and, uh, and, then, and get the bow set up. And then the best part about it is stepping up to that line in the range and having them shoot it for the few, first few times, you know, and they look at you with that smile and like, wow, and these bows are, they are, they're pretty awesome. So, um, thank you. I mean, I'm, I mean, can't say much about them um, other than they're, they're an excellent bow. Being here in the pro shop business and selling bows, um, we got Hoyt, you got Elite, you got Matthews, and there's a lot of other bows on the market that I had to do the research on to, you know, I could pick any one of the bows out there. Um, we're, we're in the area where everything is open for us, and uh, um, Expedition was, uh, was the, the choice of bow that I wanted to fill off our uh, line of bows here at Bikerks. Thank you, Clayton.